Fermilab's Muon G-2 is one step closer to its new home here in Illinois. Members of the public and Fermilab staff gathered today in Lamont as the 50-foot wide electromagnet was taken off the barge it arrived on yesterday. After removing the bolts that adhered the magnet to the barge, crews moved the Muon G-2 by crane onto the special truck to prepare for the next step. With the magnet safely off the water, many on the project could breathe a small sigh of relief that this leg was complete. Once it's here and at the laboratory, there's still a lot of work. The experiment won't re be ready to take data until 2016, but this was sort of the riskiest part of the whole thing, so it's, it's relief to see it here and off the water. Over the next roughly 48 hours, the Illinois Department of Transportation will be inspecting the ring and the truck to clear it for the final leg of travel that will use I-88 and 355 over three nights this week to get the magnet from Lamont to Fermilab in Batavia. It's, it's going to be an exciting final leg. Uh, we, we sort of had a practice run for this out on New York where we had to transport through about six miles of fairly easy road. It's fairly different than traveling through 30 miles of Chicago suburbs closing down two interstates in the process. So we're, it's great to see the final leg here, but it's going to be an exciting week. Local legislators say that the magnet is a great addition to the western suburbs. This is a really exciting project for Fermilab for the area around Fermilab and for the whole state of Illinois. The truck transport portion of the move is scheduled to begin at 11 in the evening on Tuesday, July 23rd. And Naperville News 17 will be there to cover that step. And you can stay up to date with our social media updates, like Naperville Community Television on Facebook and follow NCTV 17 on Twitter for updates from our team in the field all week long. And you can catch the video updates on our website at nctv17.com. Reporting from Lamont, Whitney Goodbread, Naperville News 17.